moving ever so slightly right now. It could actually be snow if it was actually a little colder. And with that in mind, what did I read today? How about this one? Apparently the US and South Korea, it says, are I guess doing drone drills of a sort because of all that tension, I suppose. It says South Korea, US conduct first joint drone exercise amid tensions. That photo seems a little crazy if they're actually doing stuff like this already anyways with drones in the battlefield. It says South Korea and the United States conducted their first ever joint unmanned aerial vehicle exercise according to reports. In a statement from South Korean Air Force, it was confirmed that the two nations organized the exercise marking a significant collaboration in military capabilities. The exercise features South Korea's RQ-4B Global Hawk Reconnaissance Drone alongside the US MQ-9 Reaper Attack Drone, utilizing GBU-38 Precision Guided Munitions. The drill simulated a scenario targeting the source of an energy provocation where the South Korean UAV collected data on specified targets and shared this information with the US drone which subsequently struck the relevant targets. A source familiar with the exercise informed Yonhap that there were no initial plans for public announcement. However, following North Korea's intercontinental ballistic missile test, the exercise was disclosed as a warning Pyongyang. It's like one of those things again to say, hey, you better watch out, look what we have in terms of arsenal and all that. It says, on Thursday, North Korea launched a new type of Hwansung-19 ICBM into the Sea of Japan, which is believed to have achieved the longest flight duration of any missile it has launched to date. There is all that news too in terms of apparently North Korea providing Russia with troops and all that, so who knows, are we on the brink of a war and all that? And without thought of Russia, you know, they're getting attacked with drones and stuff as well. And how about this one in terms of how to prevent drone strike damage? This one says, anti-drone nets saved Russian oil depot. So instead of actually trying to take out, I guess you could say the kamikaze drones and all that, it's more about shielding yourself. It says, during today's long-range drone attack on the Starvapol cry of the Russian Federation, anti-drone nets protected a Russian oil depot. Local telegram channels published a video of the drone strike. The protective structures with nets around the perimeter of the oil bunker stopped a direct hit by a Ukrainian strike drone. As a result of the impact, the high explosive incendiary warhead of the drone detonated but was unable to cause damage to the storage facility and create a fire. It says passive anti-drone defense in the form of nets and grids stretched around flammable objects at oil depots began to appear earlier this year, along with the increase in such attacks by the Ukrainian defense forces. Additionally, the pace of their development accelerated with the enactment of the Russian Law on Criminal Liability for failure to maintain anti-terrorist security of objects, which effectively places all responsibility for the protection of the strategic facilities on their owners. Given the latter, Russia currently has no single project to protect such facilities, and the measures to improve security are being implemented in various ways through private initiatives, hence the different effectiveness in countering attacks by strike drones. Similar measures have been taken at some oil refineries. In particular, the Moscow oil refineries receive protection in the form of metal cables covering a large area of the infrastructure facility. That's kind of interesting too, placing all the responsibility into the actual land or property owner as well. I don't know how strong this net is, of course, but it makes you wonder, is it strong to the point where even if the drone strikes it, it's kind of like, let's just say, a fly hitting a person, like sending one, for example, won't do much. Because if that is the case anyways, I suppose this is an effective way to deal with the situation unless they send an even bigger, for example, drone bomb per se, or sending even more trying to hit it all at once. And this was kind of an interesting read that was spreading around a lot today where apparently in the US there are places that actually completely got rid of the COVID-19 vaccine and it's kind of a first as they mentioned in contrast places like here they still recommend for example people to get it I suppose this one says an Idaho health department isn't allowed to give COVID-19 vaccines anymore experts say it's a first a regional public health department in Idaho is no longer providing COVID-19 vaccines to residents in six counties after a narrow decision by its board Southwest District Health appears to be the first in the nation to be restricted from giving COVID-19 vaccines. Vaccinations are an essential function of a public health department. While policymakers in Texas banned health departments from promoting COVID vaccines and Florida Surgeon General bucked medical consensus, 
to recommend against the vaccine, governmental bodies across the country haven't blocked the vaccines outright. Saying, quote, I'm not aware of anything else like this, said Adrian Casalotti, chief of the government and public affairs for the National Association of County and City Health Officials. She said health departments have stopped offering the vaccine because of cost or low demand, but not based on a judgment of the medical product itself. The sixth county district along the Idaho-Oregon border includes three counties in the Boise metropolitan area. Demand for COVID vaccines in the health district has declined, with 1,601 given in 2021 to 64 so far in 2024. So that's kind of interesting. I know during this time too, for whatever reason, there's been so many more articles popping up about people getting, for example, compensation for adverse reactions they've gotten out of getting things like the vaccine and all that. It makes you wonder if that is partially the reason for this. Either way, let's see what happens with this and whether or not that trickles to other places as well. See you guys later.